Hi everyone, Mr. Gazda here. I'm going to do a percent difference calculation show you how to do it. So, I came up with an example. Let's say we are dropping two tennis balls, okay? A regular tennis ball and a tennis ball that is covered in duct tape. Okay, we uh, drop them both from the same height and record how high they bounce on the first bounce. So here we go. Let's, uh, this is the data that we got. So the normal tennis ball and the, the ball with duct tape all in inches. So let's say the average of that is 47.5 and the ball with the duct tape is this. So the way to compare them, a good way to compare them is using the percent difference between them. And um, so this is how we're going to do it. So if I was to do the formula, I would write the formula out like this. Is the difference between the two and then on the bottom, you put what uh, it's being compared to. So, for instance, when you do percent uh, error, you would use the actual here, but we don't really have an actual. So, whatever you're being compared to, you put it here. You times by 100, and that will convert it into a percent number. So, I always stress how important it is to compare uh, any sort of numbers using percentage. So, I will actually do this example right here. So, what we have here is this and this number. So let's find the, if we use the formula, we'll find the difference between them. So we would do it like this. It is going to be the difference 47.5 inches minus 36.1 inches. Okay? And then you divide it by, let's say in this case, I want to compare it to the normal tennis ball because that's what we're used to. So really we're probably testing how much the duct tape changes uh, the bounce of it compared to the normal. So I'll compare it to the normal tennis ball. And that's something you usually got to think about what that is. Uh, that's 47.5 inches. So that right there, if I did 47.5, 47.5 minus 36.1 equals 11.4. So now I have 11.4 inches divided by 47.5 inches. And notice, always want to do the units first, but inches over inches will actually cancel. So uh, there are not going to be any units in here. You will get percent when we're done. So let's do 11.4 divided by 47.5 equals 0.24. And then, of course, you got to times that by your 100, and that will give you a percent. So I times that by 100. So I don't want to have the, the sorry, that was an accident. So I get 24 with the answer being 24%. So the difference, so the, and the key is how this is said. Okay? So it's not just 24. What is the phrase? The phrase would be uh, when duct tape is put on the ball, the ball with the duct tape will bounce 24% shorter distance than a normal tennis ball. That is key to say that. Now, note. Again, with our duct tape and our normal tennis ball. So there's another way this could be done, and you got to be careful that you don't mess these up. So uh, you could, if you want to compare sort of uh, the normal tennis ball to the one with the duct tape, okay, you would put this on the bottom. So the same basic idea, the difference would still be your 11.4 inches. So it would be 11.4 inches as your difference. But now you're not comparing it to the normal tennis ball. You compare it to the ball with the duct tape. So now you use this number on the bottom. If you have a, a, a smaller uh, denominator, you're going to get a different number. So the, again, the inches will cancel out. And then if you were to do the 11.4 um, divided by 36.1 equals, and then you have to times it by 100, times by 100, that will give you your answer in percent. Now you're getting, I'll round it to 31.6. So now it's 31.6%. Now this is a little interesting because you have the same numbers and you're, you're getting uh, same numbers here, same experiment. You're getting different numbers. But this would be the phrasing here. Would You would say something uh, like the uh, normal tennis ball bounces 31.6% higher than the one with the duct tape. Now, it sounds the same, but it is different because, again, this is the duct tape ball bounces 24% less than the normal tennis ball. And that is because this number is higher than this. So be careful. Make sure that your statement at the end is very clear because you uh, can make a dramatic uh, mistake. As you see, these numbers are quite different. Quite different. So, and for everyone at Gazdoni Productions... Thank you.